Hey, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna quickly cover my favorite wool clothing items that I've used during my 15 years as a survival instructor. Wool's always been my favorite fiber for most situations, and it's the best general use fiber for outdoorsmen. Wool is superior to other fibers for several reasons. It's highly durable, highly water resistant, has great breathability to allow moisture out, and even when soaking wet, it maintains around 80% of its thermal value. It's also highly antibacterial in nature and won't stink like other fibers from multi-day field use. Now, wool is coated with a natural oil called lanolin, which separates its performance qualities from other fiber choices in the winter clothing space. If you're interested in picking any of these up, I'll provide links in the, of the products in the description below. And I paid for all of these products, no you know sponsorship or anything like that. This is just what I like best. And if you guys are interested in some survival training, check out survivalschool.us. And for all my vets out there, we are a GI Bill approved school. Now let's dig into it. My most used piece of cold weather kit is my possum wool beanie popularized by Ray Mears over a decade ago. Now it's not the kind of possum you're thinking of, it's possum from New Zealand and its fibers has the unique characteristic of being hollow, which is similar to caribou or polar bear hair. It provides extra warmth properties that other fibers don't because of its hollow nature, it insulates much better than traditional fibers that aren't hollow. It's also softer and infinitely more comfortable to wear than a standard wool beanie. It's made of a blend of high quality merino sheep's wool and possum fur fibers. I've owned dozens of beanies over the years and it's by far the softest and has the greatest insulative loft of any product on the market. Now there are a lot of possum wool beanies available on the market today, but I'm in the opinion the one Ray Mears sells on his site is the best. It's made up of 53% merino, 40% possum fur, and 7% silk. And silk is pound for pound the warmest and softest fiber you can wear. You really can't go wrong picking in one of these up. You'll be using it for years to come. My next most used item is my weather wool anorak, which is by far the highest quality wool anorak made in the world. I love this item so much that I've owned three of them over the years, as well as a host of other weather wool products. It's a general purpose garment that is good in freezing temperatures all the way up to 70 degree weather. Because of its side zips, I can vent excess heat on hikes or during times when I don't need much warmth, but still want the utilitarian use of having the garment on. It's got a multitude of useful pockets to include two chest pockets, Pockets, a hand warmer area with bands built in to hold and organize gear, as well as a hidden phone or wallet pocket tucked up underneath. The Weather Wool Anorak is 100% wool and it's 100% American made and manufactured. Not a single piece of this is made overseas. It also has amazing antibacterial properties. It's literally almost never gets stinky no matter how long I wear it. In fact, in the eight plus years I've owned them, I've never washed them once. And I run 45 day survival instructor courses in the field several times a year and it's my go-to garment for all classes. It is pricey, but it's an heirloom item that is so sturdy you can wear it for a lifetime and never wear it out. It's more than worth the money and I'd even consider paying more for one due to how amazing the quality is. I'd recommend the full weight Anorak and Lynx is the best material they offer. Uh, it seems to have a better quality loft to it than other colors available in their lineup. It's also highly water resistant and fantastic in light rain and heavy snow. You won't feel the water come through the garment and for people living next to fires regularly in the woods it's very resistant to sparks. If you've been looking for a solid anorak this is by far the best one on the market. They're constantly sold out of them and can't keep them in stock so if you want to get one and they have them you better get one while you can. My next favorite bit of wool clothing is my Cora Yak Wool Base Layers. Of all the wool types available on the market, Yak is by far and away the most durable and comfortable for base layers. It really doesn't feel like wool at all. The Yak Wool is harvested from animals in Nepal that have evolved to survive in the coldest temperatures on Earth. And there's a different quality of wool from animals that live in lower elevations rather than higher elevations. The higher an elevation the breed has survived in the higher quality the wool. It's also very lightweight and packable and has amazing warp to weight ratio. They have a whole line of products for different layering systems that will likely suit any of your outdoor needs. Uh, it's a bit pricey, but there are no cheap options for wool. If you're getting it cheaper, then you're paying for a trade-off in performance somewhere. It's better to just pony up and get what you need the first time and purchase something that will last you for years. 
The next item on the list is a wool shemog. Now, I don't need to highlight the thousands of uses for shemogs to a bunch of survival-minded people, but most shemogs are made by desert-minded people, and there are very few companies that produce a wool shemog. The top two places you need to protect your from heat loss is your head and your neckline. Now, nothing will keep you warmer than a good scarf because it insulates the largest amount of blood flow that is close to the skin. Wrapping a wool shemog around your neck will ensure you stay plenty warm, and I believe it has higher performance than other items such as gaiters. Just because of how it's folded, it creates more dead air space and as a result will keep you warmer. The brand I own is no longer in business, but there are several companies that make wool shemogs. Outside of its warmth capabilities, I can think of thousands of survival uses for having a garment like this. My lead instructor and I climbed a 14er in Colorado a couple of years ago, and as an example, he rolled all of his EDC uh, into his shemog, made a sling pack out of it, and we he used it in order to climb this difficult mountain. So a good shemog is a must have for everyone. Another winter item everyone needs is some cheap army wool fingerless gloves. Often it's not cold enough to need full size gloves and most tasks require you to keep finger dexterity. So they're the best option for some added warmth that also leaves your fingertips open to use. They cost less than 15 bucks on Amazon and there's no reason to not add them to your kit. Keeping your hands warm can really make a huge difference in your performance in the woods. Finally, another item I use constantly is my high-end Hestra Fault Guide Gloves. They're all leather and are treated with oil to make them more resistant. Hestra simply makes some of the finest gloves in the world and they're definitely worth the money. I've owned mine for over five years and they still look almost new. And what makes these gloves superior for the outdoorsman and bushcrafter is the ability to remove the lining from the gloves and dry them next to the fire. They've got a removable wool lining that is very warm and it's essential in really cold weather that you're able to dry out your insulation from sweat. The liners pull out in seconds and you can dry them to remove any moisture that might have built up in the insulation that will make your hands colder. On any extended trip, this is a big deal because moisture escapes your body and collects on the fiber and reduces the insulative value of the gloves. It also has the added benefit of being a solid work glove for a round camp. Because the liner is removable, you can remove it and use it just like any other standard work glove, giving it modularity not available on any other glove in the market. So whether you're just moving in a cold environment and need to keep your hands warm, or you need a solid glove to protect your hands when swinging an axe. You can't go wrong with these. And that's a wrap. That's our top six wool items. If you guys need some training, check out survivalschool.us. And if you're a veteran, we are a GI uh, Bill approved school. Thanks for your support. Have a great day. Sigma 3 out.